Today we're going to talk about the fastest way to get good at reading greens. Now I know reading greens is a process that takes a long time and a lot of effort. In fact, there are some people that say to master any skill, you've got to do at least 10,000 repetitions. I don't even know if that's possible with reading greens, but we are going to give you three tips that I use, three cheat codes, if you will, that I know work that will rapidly improve your green reading skills. So if you want to get really good at reading greens and make huge improvement quickly, here are three things that will really help you. The first one is read all of the putts. Think about it this way. You go out and play a round of golf, and if you're reading your putts, you're reading 18 putts. But you've got playing partners, right? Read all of their putts. That gives you 54, which means you get four times as much practice. Or three times, you know, I'm not a math person, but anyway, you get the idea. Think about it this way. If you do that, you're reading 54 putts every time you play around the golf versus only reading 18. Now, don't be a jerk and be obnoxious and tell your buddies, oh, I'm reading this one like that. No, keep your mouth shut. Just walk around the green, look at everyone that you're playing with, putt all your playing partners' putts, and simply answer for yourself, not to them or anyone else, we're not showing off, but simply answer for yourself. What's the speed that I want to hit this putt? Is it die speed? And by die speed, I mean the last spin of the ball rolls into the cup or rolls to the front edge of the cup or even with the cup if you miss versus make speed. And make speed is if you miss, it goes 12 to 18 inches past, no further than that. So two questions. What's the speed of the putt, die speed or make speed? The second question is, at that speed, what line would I start that putt on? Then you, you make that decision for yourself. You watch your playing partner stroke their putt. Whether they hit or miss, you get an idea. Was your read right? And you get information that you can use to help you become a better green reader. Also, it's a subtle and absolutely perfectly legal way to cheat because now you've got information by watching their putt on how your putt will break. Even if their putt is totally opposite from yours, you gain some information your brain can process and use and apply to the putt that you're about to stroke. About to stroke. So number one, read everybody's putt on the practice grid. Second way or second cheat code to get really good at reading greens fast is to go out and make a lot of putts. So you can go out on the practice green, pick a target, put a tee down on, on the green, and just make your putts, stroke your putts at that target. But what you're working on is take one ball, maybe a second ball in your pocket, one ball, and you go out and you read that putt, and then you make the stroke. See, what well, wonder. And if you miss it badly or you miss it a little bit, take the second ball out of your pocket, make an adjustment. But a really good way to get good at reading greens is to make lots of putts. It just comes to you. And by the way, when things go back to normal, you can put one putter and a couple of golf balls in the trunk of your car, in the back seat of your car, and on your way to work, on your way home from work, when you have a spare minutes passing by the golf course, go out and make a few putts for 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't have to take much time. You don't have to be dressed a specific way, just practice this. That's one of the things that I did for a number of years. I had to pass a golf course going to and from work every day, and it really helped me an awful lot at becoming very good at reading greens because I had a lot of experience standing over the ball and seeing in my mind's eye where it was going to break and looking at the putt from behind and down the line and from the other side, and that practice becomes invaluable. It, it becomes automatic. Third cheat code that really helps you get good at reading greens is to have a process and a procedure, a routine, if you will, that you use to read every green 
the same way every time. Many of you, and I, I play golf with a lot of different people, many of the people that I play golf with, I watch them and they don't go through the same greed reading sequence, the green reading, not greed reading, although if you're making butts and taking your money, it is good to be greedy, but green reading process or procedure every time. Sometimes they'll do this, sometimes they'll do that, and then they'll miss a the putt. You've seen this, you've probably done this too. They'll miss a the putt and they'll walk up and they'll go, how in the world did that break uphill or break that way? Well, because you didn't look at this or you didn't look at that or you didn't look at it from the other side. You didn't follow the same procedure and you didn't see that break. Avoid that by having a clear, consistent process for reading greens that you do that process every time. By the way, if you want a good process for that, then like on this video because I'd appreciate it if you liked that. Make some comments because the interaction is good for that and it's good for my channel. Tell me what you think about these tips or if you've got something else that's helped you become a great or a good green reader, we'd love to know it. But the third thing is then subscribe because next week I'll be releasing a video or putting up a video on the process that I use to read greens every time, step by step by step. And it's really helpful because if I do that and I follow my process step by step, I never miss anything and I never miss out on anything. So then it's like when I do miss, it's not a big misread, it's tiny, or I just miss it, I miss the speed and stroke it too firm or too soft. But even my misses become progressively better. And the reality is in golf and putting, you're only as good as your worst miss. Now I know that sounds awful, but think about it this way. If your worst miss, that's as bad as it gets, then you can hit your worst miss every hole. That's how good you are. So you want to make your misses get consistently better. Having a consistent green reading process helps. So again, appreciate it. Work on this, put your comments below, subscribe. Also check out some of our other videos. YouTube's kind enough to pop some into the screen for you now. Thanks, and here's to you making more puns.